One of my favorite parts about Loom is that when you're on the free plan, you can download all your videos and you have unlimited amount of space, even if you had a whole bunch of videos before on the premium plan. No, you can't, and that's ridiculous. You don't have access to your own data, and that is one of the reasons, main reasons, why I'm gonna teach you how to download Loom videos today and why we built and are evolving the browser control video downloader to help you do this even easier. But if you want a free way, if you want an easy way that you can do it manually, well, maybe it's not easy for you. Maybe it is, I don't know, let's find out. Look at this, here's my Loom. I have 451 videos out of 25. And if I go to one, I cannot download it. That is kind of criminal. So let's go through here and run this checklist that I made. Zoop, today. And these are the steps that you're gonna to use to find and download your Loom videos. Let's assume that you, I don't know, maybe embedded them on a blog post of your own or something like that. Anyway, today I have 10 different examples and we don't have to go through all of them, but I'm just gonna walk you through the process and empower you with the ability to do this whenever you want. So you are gonna need one tool and that tool is called YTDLP and I don't really wanna go into this video about how to download YTDLP, but if you're on a Mac, you need homebrew and then you just type brew. Is it brew download or is it just brew YTDLP? I don't know, it's been so long since I did this. Brew download, dir. Brew download? Maybe it's not that, let's find out. I don't even know. Ah, brew install. Wow, I'm tired. I've been awake for like four days. So you, you run that. If you don't have homebrew, you gotta download homebrew. So you're gonna be working in your terminal. You're gonna be using these things. They're not that complicated, but this isn't the video for that. I have other videos on that. Let's assume that you have YTDLP because if you have homebrew, you just type those like 17 letters right there. And if I actually guess that right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I just guessed that correctly. Confetti. Let's get to the point. It's already like a minute in. So what we have here is some examples that I queued up for you and some different varieties. So here's the first one. And let's go through our process. First, you wanna find the loom.com media URL, all right? So let's assume that your thingy is here and you need to find like, what's the, what's the Loom video URL? Maybe it's not always easy. In this case, it kind of is because you can just copy the link and it's right there, but let's say it's not. What you can do is you can right click and inspect and then you can hover over the item here and you see how it selects it. And then somewhere in here, we're, we're gonna need to find a Loom thing. So we can like kind of open these up and find one or go through and find one and figure it out. Or we can just do command F and type loom.com and looking for a share URL. Here's one and here's another one. That's probably from that link that's like right there. Cool, so now you have, go away. Now you have the loom.com media URL. Ah, little buggy, that's all right, it's new. Then you wanna understand the oops, file formats. Uh, you just can't complete the first one. You wanna understand the file formats that are available. Okay, so how do you do that? You type YTDLP dash F, capital F, and then you put in the URL. And you'll see here that for this particular one, we have HTTP transcoded MP4. You might not be familiar with this, but you're probably familiar with that. And you're probably familiar with 720p, 1280 by 720? So you'll know that, that's the resolution. We also have HLS CDN and HLS RAW 1500, but these are all MP4. So we know we're downloading an MP4, okay? So what we do, now that we understand the file formats available, we, Check to see if there's any additional, oh yeah, check to see if there's any additional media that we might want to download. Okay, how do we do that? Well, if on this command, we just check to see what file formats are available. But if we actually add in, uh, I have it written down, I'm not gonna mess it up. Uh, da, 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 tick, tick, list subs, okay. 
if we type in tick tick list subs and tick tick list thumbnails and I believe you might have to put that in quotes at this point I don't know now let's see what it comes up with okay well we have subtitles are available there are no thumbnails available is that true it is uh, I don't know maybe there's a thumbnail who knows maybe that's not maybe that's not a real thing but we do have subtitles available so let's say you wanted to download just the video okay cool and now we need the download command check your media for the download command all right yt dlp that's just the basic download command i'm here on my desktop so that's where it's going to go so if i click return it's going to download the http transcoded default resolution i believe let's see that's from another thing here it is over on my other screen and there's the video if you're wondering why doesn't this video have sound well this video doesn't have sound so it's actually correct let's do another one we can pick up the pace all right here's another one same process every time really so we're gonna right click inspect or we're gonna use shift command C and we're gonna find the thing we're gonna command F boom.com look for the share URL grab the share URL this mouse is just so terrible grab the share URL like that then we're gonna say just go back up to our command like this and what we're typing in is ytdlp-f can you guys see that ytdlp-f tick tick list subs tick tick list thumbnails and throw in the URL there Let's see what we get extracting whoops sorry extracting URL no thumbnails no subtitles we have HTTP transcoded and HTTP raw okay this time let's see what happens if we do what we did last time where we just said download the default one what do you think is gonna happen who knows but you'll find out it looks like it downloaded the video dot webm so it defaulted to the HTTP raw what's a webm anybody webm webm is a file type web media I, th I think I don't know. hi there hope but you can drop it in a browser and it'll play in a browser if that's not what you wanted that's all right what we'll do is instead of running the default command we would run I believe it's uh, is that it? no not real so I wrote them down because you can't remember all this crap Where are we? Uh, it's dash F. Okay. So it's YT DLP dash small F HTTP transcoded because it's saying, okay, YT DLP, YT DLP. And for the file type, we want the HTTP transcoded. So big F is like, where are the files? What do we have? Small F is like, give me this file. And then you put the thingy right there. I messed up and put an extra quote. And now we'll see it's downloading stuff. And this time, it downloaded in your friendly neighborhood. Hi there. And before. All right. Got a couple more, but the process is pretty much the same the whole way through. So uh, if you're ready to do it, you should go out and start doing it. Otherwise, you can uh, download uh, the browser control for the site downloaders. And um, yeah, we have a tool for it. So if you just want to like shoot around website to website and go download, 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 you can do that too. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep rocking through a couple of these because there's, I don't know, there's like a, there's one example in here actually you might want to, might want to stick around for. Here it is. Okay, skip to it. What if we ran into this one? An embed. And it doesn't have to be like the embedded video. We could also have run into it in the wild like this on a blog per se and here's something embedded but whatever We're, we have this thing embedded let's do our usual business big F see what we got HLS raw audio audio HLS raw 1500 so this top one says it's an mp4 audio only audio only and but this one says it's video only so in this case you have to get some tape 
and stick them together. And the way that you do that is with ooh, this command right here. So we're gonna go yt, and I'll, let me just actually run it for you the regular way we've been doing it and see what happens. Looks like it's gonna work, but I already see a failed to parse here, but that might not be a, that bad of a deal. And then I ended up with this thing, which, hey, it actually worked. What? Hi, it's Larissa. That's wild. Was this not the right, did I, did I not even do the right thing? This was the split audio one. I really didn't think that was gonna work, guys. That was also a weird sound that came out of my mouth. It was like, what? It must have just gone with the, what actually happened when I ran that? Oh, yeah, okay, well, it's already been downloaded. Derp. Let's do it again. Go away. Downloaded the manifest. Okay, so it actually just found the manifest from the thingy, the thingy, and it uh, downloaded it here. Pretty neat. It didn't get the little preview, but that's all right. Well, I guess we don't need to see it. However, if you do encounter a situation where you try and do that and it doesn't work, there is this thing you can string on called best video plus best audio, which will just, especially if there's more than one quality of audio and video, it'll grab the best, the bests. Okay, let's do one more because there's, there is one more. All right. Uh, what? Okay, yeah, so this is a community page and there's a bunch of videos on it, right? Whatever. So we're gonna like go download one, okay? So we, we go into the thing, yada yada, shift command, uh, what? Option command C, find the thing, command F, boom.com, find it. Da, 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 da. There's a lot on this page though, so here's an embed. We'll take that one. Okay, did that work? There it is. All right, great. We have our thing, and let's do what we know how to do, which is what's going on here? YTDLP-F, this thing. Actually, this time, let's do this one too. Um, what was the subtitles one? List, subs, list. Thumbnails. Hey, look, we have some thumbnails. Let's try and download them this time. But we have this HLS RAW 1500, HLS RAW 3200, and you can see this is a 1280 by 720, and this is a 1920 by 1080, so 720p, 1080p. Twice as big ish. Twice as big ish. So, how do you get the one that you want? All right, well, there's a command for that. There's an app for that, right? Well, there's an app for that. So here we go. This is the command. It's ytdlp and then small f for file. And we're going to say hls raw dash. We want the 3200. Duh. And then we're going to say, how do we get the subtitles? Tick tick write subs. And then we're going to say sub format because we know that VTT and JSON is available. Um, let's go VTT. And then we're going to put in the, oops. Then we're going to put in the thing we're trying to download from. I'm not even sure I have the right URL at this point. I'm all over the place. Oop. Let's delete that and see what we get. We should get the best quality one and we should get, uh, what? Um, da, 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 da. That wasn't even the one that we wanted, so. That was done. Try it again. Cool. Yeah, I had the wrong URL. So we have a bunch of stuff going. M3U8 transcoded JSON failed to parse, downloading subtitles in English. So let's get rid of all this. Oh, there's actually nothing there because I got rid of it. But look what we got. It Everything happened, blah, blah, blah. And this is what we ended up with. Hi there. The video and a .vtt file, which, if you open it, is the subtitles mapped to the time code. So that's pretty cool. There's a lot of neat stuff that you could do with that, I guess, right? What if this is a presentation on something that was presented well and you're like, I wanna download those subtitles and then I wanna give them to AI and have AI write a blog post about it and then publish it as me. Oh, 
that's how you do it. So that pretty much wraps up 10-ish or so ways to download Loom from various places. And uh, yeah, good luck, post your questions. I kind of sp sped through that, but you can slow it down if you want. And if you want an easier way to download stuff, then just go get the, the Loom video downloader. Peace, y'all. How do I stop this thing?